school toilet paper sucks. How is the toilet paper at your school? It's pretty sucky. <laughs> what do you that want me to awful. say? Okay, now. You want me to be more descriptive about the toilet paper? Why? I don't think about the toilet paper. I just use it. It's ass because it's like using fucking paper towels if you were to like, if they were like a toilet paper. Thin and rough. It was like fucking arts and crafts tissue paper. Like that shit's crumbly. It's horrible. It's just not really pleasant to use. Like it sandpaper. Thin? Makes you feel like you rub like sandpaper on you and stuff. It's just like fucking sandpaper on your asshole. So there's like literally no point of wiping. So then like your ass is shaved the whole fucking day if you shit at school. So then now I don't shit at school. Like it, it doesn't do the job, man. Like you use it and like your finger goes straight through and you get fucking Chocolate pudding on your finger. This is so weird. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think they don't use the toilet paper that you buy at home? Because they're cheap. Uh, because it's too expensive. And our levy didn't pass, so you think they can afford fucking expensive toilet paper? I guess the cost. That's the only reason I could think of. Because they're cheap and nobody shits at school? <laughs> I mean, you know what? That's probably more of a reason to buy better toilet paper. You know? It's like if nobody shits, then like you aren't losing much. As you can see, I've prepared three samples here, sample A, B, and C. So just right off the bat, you can notice that this paper right here from my house, it's just more aesthetically pleasing. It's got a nice little flower pattern on it. I'm not sure if the camera's picking that up, but it is very noticeable, very elegant. While this toilet paper, uh, the toilet paper from the school, um, it's more comparable to drier lint, drier paper. This toilet paper does have a much softer texture. This is the single ply of the at-home paper. Single ply at the school. At home, now this paper is, it holds tight when you need it to, but when you want to tear it off, it tears off oh so cleanly. Look at that. I, from one, and again, from one corner, from one corner. Now that is how sample C was formed. It was formed uh, on location. I was trying to um, take the toilet paper out of the dispenser and I completely ripped the fuck out of it. I'm measuring about four and a half inches on the home brand, uh, while the school toilet paper uh, seems to be a measly three. But there are some quantitative and qualitative observations as to why at-home toilet paper, off-the-shelf brand toilet paper is loads better than um, school toilet paper. I don't believe a lot of people have been arguing this, but I don't think a lot of people have really examined it for themselves to see the exact reasons as to why. <sighs> but how have these basic amenities become such horrible obstacles for students? Most schools aren't as lucky as mine. They have one ply toilet paper instead of two ply toilet paper, which is cheaper for the school to afford. Two ply paper is about four dollars more than single ply paper for a school, and that adds up for the entire district put together. Single ply toilet paper may be cheaper on its own, from case to case, but when you think about the situation logically, if a person is given single ply toilet paper, they're going to be folding that paper many more times than someone who is given two ply toilet paper, because naturally it will rip more. So if you're buying two ply toilet paper, you're paying four additional dollars for what ends up being an entire extra case in savings. But that isn't all that's wrong with school toilet paper. There's also that extremely rough sandpapery texture. I dug pretty deep to find some sources on this one, but I couldn't really find much. I would assume that it's just made out of some cheaply recycled material instead of the interwoven fabric-like material that is in the home toilet paper, which we examined earlier. As it turns out, the home brand I was using in this video, Kirkland, actually uses 100% unrecycled freshly cut down trees from the forest, while the toilet paper commonly seen at offices and schools uses 100% recycled materials. However, there are some brands that utilize some and some and still produce a fine product, and there are some that use entirely recycled materials and produce a fine product. So are schools really that blind? Can they really not do simple arithmetic and logic to conclude that buying two-ply toilet paper would be cheaper for their school? And are they not listening to students' demands for softer, more enjoyable experiences in the bathroom? 
I think that the problem may just be systemic, and that any alterations to the normal budget is just unforeseen and requires too much extra planning. Unless there's some sort of driving force from the student body collectively, I don't think that your school is going to change anytime soon. At Cabin John Middle School in Maryland, there was a push by the student body to switch their toilet paper to two-ply from one-ply, but did they ever do it? I have no idea, because local journalism sucks. In fact, journalism sucks in general. They never fucking follow up on anything. It's just made to digest and then get out of your system and there's just no sources for anything. Good evening. My name is Sakai. Good friend. Right. You sound good. My name is Sakai Nessu Fraser, and I am the proud president of Cabin John Middle School. Thank you for allowing me to testify about where to increase our MCPS budget. Number one is school toilet paper. It's so bad that advocating on this issue actually got me elected. It feels rough as sandpaper and very thin, which has led to many uncomfortable circumstances for students. On top of that, the toilet paper dispensers are extremely inefficient and only allow for two to three squares to be broken off at a time. I have over 100 signatures on a petition advocating for better toilet paper from Cabin John's eighth grade alone. We must make sure that my fellow students get the respect that they deserve. The final item that I want to cover is allocating more funds towards electronics, specifically in the video game department. In conclusion, push for better toilet paper. Push for a happier school district. We deserve more as students. There were many things stolen over the last few months due to the devious licks in schools around the country, but one of those things not stolen was school toilet paper. That's an awful intro. That sucks.